What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Viejo Verde from Manaloco. <laughs> From Manaloco. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, this will be our third sauce, I believe, from yeah. Manaloco. Yeah. Um, and huge shout out to them for sending us some sauce to review. From Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. Um, super excited uh, to try this one out because the last two have been very delicious. Um, seems to be on their website, they say Viejo. And on the bottle, it says Viejo. Hey, yeah, hey, Verde, Viejo Verde. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the ingredients list match up. Yeah, it seems so. to be the same thing. Um, but yeah, we mostly want to make sure we weren't either saying it wrong or reviewing the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, the uh, ingredient list on this one is uh, jalapeno, habanero, scotch bonnet. Lemon, vegetable oil, coriander, green onions, garlic, spices, and salt. I like the uh, green onion in there. Yeah, I feel, yeah. You don't see scallions have a, a bit of a different flavor, and you don't see them in hot sauce very often. So that's a that's a good one. Yeah. Um, man, uh, should we get into this? Yeah. I'm, right here. I'm also a fan of you know most green sauces are. Jalapeno, Serrano, that's pretty much it for a Verde sauce that you see. So it's cool that it has habanero and scotch bonnet in there. Yeah, I like the it, the color too. It's a bright green. Um, so. What is, there we go. Ideal for soups, curries, mm. and stews. That almost gives me like a hint of like a curry mm -hmm. smell to it. Yeah. I'm excited here. Yeah. Let's get into it. Ooh. I like that. Wow. I like that consistency. That's there good. There go. Yeah, I got some chunks. Oh, that smells real good. Yeah, it's uh, it feeling... smells good, but it also, oh gosh, I'm about to drip. I'm going for it. All right. Whoa. That has kind of a crazy mouthfeel. I think it's that vegetable oil. Gives it quite a bit different texture. And then now the heat's kind of starting to come up from the back of the throat a little bit. Yeah, it's building. Um, um, it's got a good flavor but it's definitely a, a more mild it's not like it hits you in the face with flavor the mildest it's, of what we've had so far yeah but um i like hmm. there's something about each of their sauces so far that like i don't know if i'm gonna describe this right but they taste really clean yeah i would agree yeah uh you know like they're not not overly processed or uh, yeah, like you know, a no, bunch of preservatives or stuff. Yeah, like it yeah. just tastes pure. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, and yes, it's hard to describe that, but which I you know, at first I'm like it, it was kind of weird, but I'm like the more I have it, I'm like, I think this is what it's actually supposed to taste like, <laughs> <laughs> like when there's not a ton of ingredients and you can't pronounce a couple of them, you know? Yeah. Um, let's go back in here. It's definitely, uh, the heat's building a little bit on this one. It's kind of a sleeper. Yeah. But super tasty. Yeah, I mean, the, the vegetable oil definitely gives it that mouthfeel, which I like. I think the more and more we have different hot sauces, the more I like when oil, at least a little bit of oil is in there. Because yeah. it, it has more, 
it's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more enjoyable. <laughs> more enjoyable. Yeah, it's just like, it, it, it's more complete. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, what do you think those little chunk? Are you supposed to have some seeds left over from the peppers? Yeah, for no, sure. Nothing there. Yeah. Um, man, very very subtle. I, what would you say is the predominant flavor coming through here? Obviously, you get the mouth feel of the vegetable oil. I think the Scotch bonnet kind of pops through for me. I think I'm getting the habanero a little more than the Scotch bonnet. Okay, but I'm definitely getting the coriander too. Can you taste the difference between the green onions and regular onions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But that's okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It probably it probably helped out with how cool this color is. Oh, for sure. Know? Like I like how I like how Oh, it's almost neon. It's almost reflective. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's almost I don't know. It's like nuclear green. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Toxic Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> Secret of the ooze. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really like that's that's their that's the the common denominator in their sauce so far is like it tastes pure. I would agree with that. Sure. Um, almost to a point where it's like, what are we doing in America? <laughs> like, I like so many sauces that are made here, but this tastes so pure that it's like, sometimes I feel like we're being lied to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I could see that. <laughs> um, what do you think you're going to be putting this on? I mean, instantly, and maybe I've felt this way about all their sauces so far, but instantly I think of tacos of any kind. Yeah. Um, enchiladas, for sure. Some green enchiladas. Make enchilada sauce spicier and use this in it, you know? There you go. Um, that's all I got really right off the bat, but... Fair enough. I think it's a very versatile sauce. It's hard to kind of... Maybe not just like normal chicken wings, but if you smoked chicken wings first mm -hmm. and then sauced them, this would be good for that. Okay. Because it has a little... Even though it doesn't say anything smoked, it kind of has like a, a smokiness to it. Definitely. That would complement any smoked chicken, I would say. Uh, heat rating out of 10. What, what do you think? This is tough because it's like it's a slow, slow bird. Yeah. You know, like it's still there. I mean, I almost want to say a five based on the slow burn that builds up. Yeah. Right off the bat, I would say like, oh, like maybe a four. But then after you give it like two minutes, like maybe a five. I don't know. Yeah. I was going to say, I think a solid five. Yeah, because it's still tingling a little bit. For a green sauce, it is yeah. spicier than most green sauces, which I like. Definitely. Yeah. Because I'm always like, man, I want to eat green sauce on like tacos and like breakfast food and stuff like that, but they're always so mellow that it's like a waste. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Well, uh, Mono Loco. Um, you did it again. Thank you again. Yeah. You made a great sauce. We really appreciate you sending us this bottle to review. Um, and yeah, this one, this Coast, one. Costa Rica's on my list of places to go back. You know, I went there seven, seven years ago, almost seven years ago, six and a half years ago. And it was before I was like super into hot sauce. Like, you know, probably had some months of tacos here and there, but nothing like, I'm, I want to go back and be like, I wonder if this is just everywhere or if it's hard to find. Uh, yeah. You know? that'd like, be... I want to see if it's easy to find or hard to find. If it's hard to find, I'm going to be pissed off and go on a <laughs> rampage and be like, well, like, what are you guys doing? Like this sauce should be everywhere, but See if it's like a Cholula in the States or yeah. Tabasco in the States. Yeah. Just want to see this at every restaurant. Yeah. But 
Yeah. Um, well, guys, if you guys have had uh, stuff from Monoloco before, um, let us know what your favorite sauce is. We'd love to know. Uh, so we know which one to review next. I think we got a couple back there. Yeah. Um, to try. And yeah, thanks for checking this one out. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And yeah. Till next time, keep up the heat.